Now, I have a list, 10 feet high, of places I need to go at this time of year. And it's almost a fun little, almost like a bucket list. been to this so many times I never really looked at it in a photographic way. It's always just, okay, I've been there, that's cool, but... And now I'm going back to all these places again. And I'm really starting to see how, you know, how beautiful Orange County really is. Or I've been taking it for granted for years just because I, you know, grew up here. I'm sitting there, I'm a little frustrated. You know, haven't gotten a shot. I've been out here for I think, four days. I haven't gotten one real shot yet. The light was at a beautiful, kind of half overcast, half, you know, got some God rays through there and everything. And I just, I hear something kind of eerie. And I start following it. And sure enough, it was that little waterfall. It's only there in the springtime. And then literally, two or three weeks later, I went to the same spot. The waterfall was half the size those rocks that were so red, you couldn't even really tell because they weren't wet anymore. I'm not sure, just living here and growing up here, I always kind of took that beach for granted. I remember something kind of being over there. Let's go take a look. And finally seeing it from like a real photographer's eye, you know, after studying and kind of being in this for a little bit, I saw it in a totally different light. I should have been here years ago taking this photo. It was actually, I met a guy from a total local restaurant. I mean, we're talking paper plates they serve you with. And we told him, oh, hey, I'm a photographer. What hasn't been seen on now? And he told us, it's this great beach, right in between two big, huge hotels. You got to park by the dumpsters and just walk straight through. It's going to be kind of tough to find a little path. And then you'll find a beach, maybe 20, 30 feet, white sand with palm trees. And again, we saw these local surfer guys get off park in a non, no parking spot and just start running down this hill. What is this? This is crazy. It came on my list. I said, okay, we got to come here a little bit earlier when the sun's coming across, you're really seeing that clear water. Yeah. And just shot and just took some pictures. And it was beautiful. It's literally, you're in a jungle. And you look right down, there's this beautiful beach. And it's this beautiful arch called Mesa Arch. And the sun, at certain times of year, the sunrise perfectly hits underneath. It's a red rock and just turns it totally orange. I went there in the dead of winter. I think it was four or five degrees out. Just snowed the night before. Show up, totally calm. It's three degrees out right now. I'm shaking. I just need a sunrise. It's going to snow for the next three days. Just give me something. And I'm just about ready to pack up. And sure enough, it starts to break. So I stay and it broke just in time. I had maybe five seconds. The sun just slammed through. The whole under arch just went totally orange. The snow is down there. The sun is just peeking through. Just at just five seconds of absolute, just amazing, amazing beauty. If people see these spots, I really, you know, hope and think. People would go back into nature, you know, more money would go towards the national parks. Really open people's eyes on how beautiful this world really, really is and how amazing it is.